When you hear the term Middle East, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Perhaps images of vast deserts, abundant oil fields, or unending conflicts. The Middle East is one of the most complex regions in the world, shaping a region that has always been in the global spotlight. But why has this region, for thousands of years, been a seemingly endless battleground? The Middle East is often referred to as the crossroads of the world. The region is situated at the intersection of three continents, Asia, Europe and Africa. Its strategic location has made it a vital trade route since ancient times. These trade routes connected the Far East with Europe and Africa, carrying spices, silk and various other commodities. Cities like Baghdad, Damascus and Cairo grew into prosperous trade hubs. However, this crossroads also meant that the region was a target for external powers. From ancient empires to modern nations, many have sought to dominate this region to control its lucrative trade routes. It is not just its strategic location that has made the Middle East a battleground. The region is also the birthplace of three major world religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. All these religions have deep historical and spiritual roots in the Middle East, making it a sacred land for billions of people worldwide. Jerusalem is a holy city for all three faiths, yet it has been a focal point of conflict for centuries. From the Crusades in the medieval era to the modern Israeli-Palestinian conflict, religious tensions add another layer of complexity to the region already fraught with political and economic dynamics. Let us step back to the dawn of human civilization. The Middle East is the birthplace of the world's first civilization. Mesopotamia known as the cradle of civilization dead in the valleys of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. The Sumerians created the first writing system, the first cities and organized governance. However, the existence of such civilizations also spurred competition among cities and nations. The Akkadian, Babylonian and Assyrian empires emerged in this region, each striving to expand its power. Every time one empire fell, a new one rose, often in brutal and bloody ways. As we move to later eras, we see the Middle East becoming a battlefield for other great empires. Persia, Greece and Rome all fought to control the region. The Persian Empire, under Cyrus the Great, established one of the largest empires in history, encompassing much of the Middle East. However, this empire faced fierce resistance from the Greeks, particularly during the legendary Greco-Persian Wars. When Alexander the Great conquered Persia, he brought Hellenistic cultural influences to the region, but his death fractured his empire, creating even more conflict. In the 7th century, a new force emerged that will forever change the Middle East, Islam. The Prophet Muhammad founded Islam in the Arabian Peninsula, and within less than a century, the Islamic Caliphate had spread from Spain to India. However, this success did not come without conflict. Internal disputes among Muslims, particularly between Sunni and Shia factions, created divisions that persist to this day. These conflicts are not just theological but also political and about power. Dynasties like the Umayyads, Abbasids, and Fatimids competed to dominate the Islamic world and often fought one another. Then came the Crusades. In the Shi'ith century, Christian Europe launched a series of wars to reclaim Jerusalem from Muslim control. The Crusades lasted for two centuries and left a deep mark on the history of the Middle East. For the Islamic world, the Crusades symbolized Western aggression, while for Europe they were a struggle to uphold their faith. Although the Crusades eventually ended, the tensions between the Islamic and the Western worlds never fully disappeared. When the Ottoman Empire emerged in the 17th century, the Middle East once again came under the rule of a great power. The Ottomans controlled the region for centuries, bringing relative stability under their governance. The collapse of the Ottoman Empire after World War I created a power vacuum filled by European colonial powers. Britain and France divided the Middle East through the sykes picot Agreement, creating new borders that often ignored local ethnic and religious dynamics. These decisions sowed the seeds of tensions that continue to smolder today. In the modern era, the discovery of oil in the Middle East added a new dimension to the region's conflicts. Oil became a crucial commodity not only for Middle Eastern countries, but for the entire world. Countries like Saudi Arabia, Iran and Iraq grew incredibly wealthy from oil, but this wealth also fueled rivalries among them. Moreover, External powers such as the United States and the Soviet Union became heavily involved in Middle Eastern politics to secure their access to all, often through controversial means. The conflicts of the RCTH and RCE Street centuries in the Middle East have been driven by nationalism, ideology and territorial disputes. The establishment of Israel in Egypt sparked spark conflicts that persist to this day. The Arab-Israeli wars, the Iranian revolution, the Iran-Iraq war, Iraq's invasion of Kuwait, and the war in Syria 
Korea are just a few examples of the region's ongoing struggles. Additionally, militant groups like ISIS and Al Qaeda have added a new dimension of violence to the Middle East, creating global fears that extend beyond the region's borders. Yet behind all these conflicts, the Middle East remains a place rich in cultural history and traditions. While it is often portrayed as a region rife with violence, the region is a reminder that amidst chaos there is enduring beauty. The Middle East is also home to great civilizations, art, science, and philosophy that have made significant contributions to the world. Why has the Middle East been the battleground for thousands of years? The answer lies in a combination of its strategic location, its resource wealth and its historical and religious heritage. The region reflects the complexity of human nature, where economic, political, and spiritual interests collide. To understand the Middle East, we must view it not only as a place of conflict but also as a place where the story of humanity has been written with the ink of struggle and hope. When we try to understand the Middle East, it is important not only to focus on conflict and division but also to recognize that this region has been home to diverse societies with a long history of coexistence. If we look back to the Ottoman Empire, we find an era where despite tensions, various ethnic and religious groups lived together under one governance system. Jews, Christians, and Muslims often shared cities, languages, and cultures. The Ottoman military system which granted religious communities autonomy to manage their internal affairs demonstrates that diversity can be a strength when managed wisely. However, as is often the case in history, external and internal dynamics turn this harmony into conflict. Colonialism, as mentioned earlier, was one of the main triggers, but another factor that often receives insufficient attention is the impact of rapid and often enforced modernization. Modernization, whether in the form of economic or political reforms, often created tensions in Middle Eastern societies, especially when those reforms clash with deeply rooted traditions. The Tanzimat reforms in the Ottoman Empire during the Shizhou th century aimed to modernize governance and the legal system but also provoked dissatisfaction among communities who felt their identities were being erased. A similar pattern occurred in Iran during the Shah, where ambitious modernization progress led to widespread discontent, culminating in the Iranian Revolution of 1979. Often bring more challenges than solutions. The Middle East has faced challenges from foreign ideologies introduced to the region. During the Cold War, the Middle East became a battleground for influence between the United States and the Soviet Union. Both nations support various regimes and groups aligned with their interests, often without considering the impact on local societies. Supporting authoritarian regimes or certain militant groups only exacerbated existing tensions, creating cycles of violence that remain difficult to break. There's another side to this story that is rarely discussed, the resistance of the people against both external and internal oppressive forces. The history of the Middle East is full of stories of resistance, from uprisings against European colonization to modern grassroots movements like the Arab Spring. These movements demonstrate that the people of the Middle East have never been passive, they have always fought for their rights even in the face of immense challenges. When discussing the Middle East, we must also consider the role of women in these societies. Women in the Middle East are often portrayed as victims of conflict or oppression, but the reality is far more complex. The history of the Middle East is filled with strong and influential women. From Queen Zenobia of Palmyra to modern activists like Tawakul Karman and Nobel Peace Prize laureate from Yemen, women in the region play vital roles in maintaining their families and communities amidst chaos, and many have led movements for social and political change. One of the aspects that make the Middle East so fascinating is its resilience and ability to adapt despite facing numerous challenges. The region has witnessed the rise and fall of civilizations from Mesopotamia to the modern era. Despite frequent wars and conflicts, the people of the Middle East have continually rebuilt their lives, creating extraordinary art, music, and literature. Middle Eastern culture is a testament to human resilience and creativity, reminding us that even amidst destruction, life persists. Today, the Middle East stands at a crossroads and conflicts persist, driven by religion religious differences as well as political and economic interests then however there is also hope for future. Many young people in the Middle East desire change and strive to create more peaceful and inclusive societies. They are using technology and social media to connect with the world, share their stories and show that the Middle East is more than just a conflict zone. This inspiring conclusion reminds us that the history of the Middle East is a history of humanity. It is a story of survival 
a quest for meaning amidst chaos and the desire to create a better world. We all have a role in shaping the future of this region, whether as direct participants or as concerned global observers. Why has the Middle East been the battleground for thousands of years? The answer is not solely about politics, religion, or economics. It lies in the fact that this region represents all that makes us human. Ambition, belief, conflict, and hope in by understanding its history. We learn not only about the Middle East, but also about ourselves. What can we do to help create a more peaceful world, both in the Middle East and beyond? Share your thoughts in the comments, and let's continue the discussion. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to the History for Everyone channel for more enlightening stories. Then see you in the next video.